hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video today i am going to show you how we can paint one stroke feathers and i am using size 6 round brush because i am going to paint small small feathers if you want to create big feathers you can create uh, you can use bigger brush like size 8 or size 10 so we are going to load two colors into single brush so basically uh, we will get something like this so i have painted multiple feathers just to uh, dry and you can create different feather shapes like this like this one is like little curvy in shape some are little pointed in shape so definitely based on your choices you can paint your feathers now let's start with the first one so basically we need to load two colors so my first combination is with uh, blue so first one is cerulean blue and second one is ultramarine blue so i'm filling my brush with the cerulean blue and uh, at the tip of my brush is ultramarine blue you can use any combination whatever you like but let's start with this combination first and uh, i want uh, the dark shade of blue towards downside so i will start uh, from there so you can create a string like this just to make sure your feather direction uh, but it's not uh, compulsory it's not important and uh, with your brush just start uh, creating strokes like this push and uh, zigzag and uh, mo start moving your brush towards upward direction so you will get a lighter shade at the end so you can see the dark shade of blue towards downside and uh, the light shade of blue towards the up uh, upward direction so that is what we want create the middle string again Do not overdo it uh, you can do it if required but uh, try not to do it because in single stroke whatever you will get that will look more natural and uh, then you can add any texture whatever you like into this feather so for now I'm going to add a small small dots around uh, this particular feather So I'm again taking ultramarine blue and adding uh, little dots around uh, dark shade and light shade as well but uh, towards dark shade the density of dots is high and uh, the density of dots is little less towards light, lighter shade. So that is how we have created. So see it's very simple so let's try one more feather with the same combination so this time also i'm filling my brush with uh, cerulean blue and at tip of my brush is ultramarine blue but this time i'm going to start from the top because i want the dark shade of blue at that side only and i want a little different shape of feather so i'm creating the uh, little circular shape at the top and then i will repeat same process just i'll try to make it uh, different uh, in shape middle string when you are filling your brush with one color make sure that color is little watery then only you are able to spread your color a little bit and now you you can give any pattern to this particular feather so i'm thinking to add a uh, blue patches at one side so i'm adding a patches like this towards right side only i'm not adding this uh, 
uh, whole, in the whole feather i'm keeping it towards right side only and we are done with second one as well now let's try some other combination so this time i'm thinking to fill my brush with rose metal lake color so i'm filling my brush with rose metal lake color and at tip of my brush i'm using cerulean blue so you can use any combination you can also choose uh, maybe red color at the tip of the brush and you can see what uh, combination you are getting while creating this feather so this time again i'm creating little different shape of feather so this time little triangle kind of shape at the start and uh, repeat the process and uh, that's it i think this is the easiest way to paint feathers i have tried multiple techniques to paint this but this one i find it very simple even if you are a beginner then also you can paint this easily now without applying any pressure as we have very pointed end so we can add a little little string around these feathers so i'm adding this time a very very fine strings around uh, this feather you can keep it like that only do not add any pattern into the feather that is also fine and we are done with third one as well now let's try one more with the same combination so again i'm filling my brush with uh, rose metal lake color make sure your color is little watery and uh, i'm starting this time from the downward direction this time i'll create one string to make sure my direction just repeat the process this time i'm keeping the end little pointed you can always adjust your shape little bit if required you can keep it like that only it's absolutely looking fine absolutely looking good if not you can add any pattern whatever you like this time i'm adding dots of pink and blue around this feather to complete this we are done with the fourth one as well now let's try few more with uh, black shade in it so i'm thinking to add black color into my feather with different color combination so let's keep it aside for a while and uh, let's start with fifth feather so for the fifth one i'm adding uh black color so this time again i'm taking cerulean blue to fill my brush and at tip of my brush is black i'm not sure about this combination but let's see how it goes so again i'm starting with uh, from the top i'm keeping shape a little triangle shape and going with the same process and as you can see um this combination is actually looking good i like it so basically you can try different combination and you can see which combination 
information you feel is actually good and then i'm adding a black patches around the uh left uh, side around left portion like we did uh, in the second feather whenever you are adding this patches make sure you are going with feather shape as well otherwise it will uh, not look good so you have to make sure your patches is like going in line with feather shape a light middle string and uh, that's it we are done with fifth one as well now let's start with the sixth one so sixth one for the sixth one i'm using burn sienna and uh, black color so i'm filling my brush with burn sienna and uh, tip of my brush is black uh, one thing you have to remember is always try to keep uh, a dark shade uh, at the tip of your brush and little lighter shade towards uh, uh, other side repeat the process you can always uh, go back and uh, try to uh, adjust your shape a little bit so for these feathers you have to keep few things uh, you have to consider few things first thing is your first primary color is uh, should not be concentrated this should be little watery so that you can spread your color little bit you have to keep dark at the tip and you have to fill your brush with the lighter shade so this time i'm filling my brush with the orange color and i'm keeping red and orange combination and then you can add whatever pattern you like you can add a string to make sure you are going in the right direction little dots with red color like we did in the first one the color combination is up to you the pattern is up to you shape is up to you size is up to you and you can paint n number of feathers whatever you like whatever you like to paint so this time i'm using only black color so tip is little concentrated black color that is the only difference and then we will repeat the process one thing i wanted to show you if you are a beginner and you are not able to make it in one stroke you can always go back and uh, uh, try to adjust your shape a little bit 
and you can do it easily let me show you how let's say for example i'm not happy with this particular shape so i can again take concentrated color and uh, just try to adjust uh, my shape a little bit This time I'm going to add big big uh, circular patches in this particular uh, feather on the lighter side and then I will add uh, uh, black dots towards dark side. This is the easiest feather I have ever painted and I can tell you this uh, is definitely easy for you as well. So try once, let me know how you feel about this process and uh, I am hoping this video is helpful for you guys. Please do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love, support and thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.